What's up guys? Good morning. War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going over Blizzard. Okay, we finally got Blizzard together from when we started it while we were leveling up at the start of the season. And now we finally have the build together and I was testing it last night and just kind of going everything since we finished Chain Lightning. So make sure to check out that video. And I don't know. Blizzard is pretty awesome. It's pretty insane, but I just feel like it's lacking something and the gear pieces that we chose to put in here and i got a bunch of other gear pieces to swap in and out it just man it's really tough to put together and really hone on on what i want to do but nonetheless this build is insane it could do all content it could do the hordes it could do the uber bosses we're gonna fight an uber boss at the end of the video so i'm gonna go over the skills gear paragon all that good stuff you guys need to know so let's get right into it man so let's start off with the skill tree you already guys know how we do this so uh we got fire bolt in here just to uh get us to our core skills and again this is going to be our very first enchantment because really this is probably the best enchantment skill that the sorceress has because the damage multiplicative that we get from the flame like glyph is just too insane not to take so we have that then we come down here no core skills whatsoever one point into devastation for more mana and the elemental dominance for more damage then we come down one point into flame shield for our get out of jail free card then we got teleport into shimmering teleport for the damage reduction we got max points put into glass cannon uh for more damage and max points put into i'm just kidding it's not max we got one point into put in the elemental attunement the rest is going to come from our raiment chest piece uh then we got ice armor into myth mystical ice armor while it's active we periodically chill close enemies, but more importantly, we're going to do 15% multiplicative damage to frozen enemies, which is very easy to accomplish with Blizzard itself. Then we come down, we're doing one point to align the elements for damage reduction. We max out mana shell for damage reduction as well as our protection for our barrier. We max out conjuration mastery for even more damage, movement speed, and mana regen. Then we got ice blades into... 20% of ice blades to get the cooldown lightning spear into invoke lightning spear dude it's starting to be like the barbarian we're like all of these skills are pretty much the same again and again it's crazy uh then we got two points into icy veil for more barriers we got one point into blizzard into mages blizzard now again i want to preface with this video so people don't understand how this build works blizzard itself is not doing the damage blizzard is not doing the damage the damage from this build is the ice spice that blizzards form okay which is why we don't put any additional points into blizzard itself all right i'll explain the the gear piece that we have the legendary power once we get to the gear uh then we got one point to inner flames for in devouring blaze for even more damage then we come down i got three points maxing out permafrost icy touch as well as hoarfrost for a bunch of more damage then we got one point into uh, coursing currents and then electrocution so enemies deal less damage when they're struck by shock skill critically struck which is going to be lightning spear now uh i chose to opt for unstable currents now one thing about this build is is it, re it really benefits from having as much attack speed as possible which is why we have prime unstable currents for the 25 percent additional attack speed all right then we're going into veer's mastery for our passive now for Blizzard, there's not really a key passive that is super good. Like, none of the Frozen ones are good. Like, Shatter doesn't really help us. Avalanche doesn't help us whatsoever because casting, like, getting the free cast of Blizzard is nice, but it's 60% multiplicative damage on Blizzard, not the Ice Spice that we form. So that's not good. Um, so Veer's Mastery is fine when we get a crit with a Lightning Skill, which we can get from casting Unstable Currents or from Lightning Spear. At least we'll get the increased damage there i guess uh so yeah there's not really a good one for blizzard like at all so um yeah so these are the skills guys um i really broke this down there's not really too much difference from even season four with blizzard it's pretty pretty uh like self-explained going forward so let's go into our gear pieces oh our other enchantment slot is going to be ice blades this is just going to help us with cooldown to keep our, our stuff going, especially getting unstable currents back. Now, into the gear pieces. Now, this was the hardest part and probably the, the part that's going to take the longest with the video. So, man, there's a, there's a lot to unpack here, and there's a lot to kind of go over. I tried so many things. The biggest struggle here is the ring pieces. So, 
In your helmet slot, Shaco is very good. The main reason that we want Shaco here is for the cooldown as well as the damage reduction. The additional four ranks don't help us in any of the skills. Uh, I mean, it helps some with the cooldown, but the cooldown reduction here from Shaco is very, very good. However, we don't benefit from the additional four ranks for damage. Um, but the damage reduction is very good. So I tested out God Slayer. God Slayer with the GA cooldown is pretty good. We get some additional damage. And then when we stun, freeze, or immobilize, we pull in and we get increased damage. So God Slayer, I think, is better for just straight damage for Blizzard. I think it's very, very strong here. You could definitely use God Slayer, no problem whatsoever. Um, I like the Shaco just for the additional damage reduction. However, like against bossing, like if you're going to use this against bosses, God Slayer, I think, is just straight up better than Shaco. Uh, the other helmet option is, of course, Andario's Visage, which seems to be sweeping the nation in Season 5. Uh, so not only is this super strong, which would give us even more attack speed to, like, farm up Blizzard, like, and just spam Blizzards, we would get the insane lucky hit to proc even more damage. Um, that's the crazy thing about like this with chain lightning it, it's literally like half the damage for chain lightning uh you would get the life on hit which is nice the 100 all stat which is great so Andariel's is is very very good um if we go over to our lucky our lucky little training ground so you guys can kind of see like the differences it's just the, the gear choices are really up to you. It comes down to a lot of these gear choices, and I don't want you guys to pin, be, you know, put on anything that's, like, in particular, but, like, when you got on Dariel's on, like, it's just... It literally just spams, man. I mean, it's... You spam so many blizzards, and everything dies so quick. I'm going to use Andariel's for this one, but Shaco is perfectly fine. Uh, then we go into our chest piece here. We got Raymond's of the Infinite, which is going to give us an insane amount of intelligence and glass cannon for even more damage. The teleport pull-in is really nice for the CC effect for our additional passives, which is really, really good. Um, however, if you don't want to run uh, Raymond just because of the additional glass cannon, which makes you take more damage, that is okay. You don't have to run it. You could run Tyrael's Might for even more defense, right? Even more defense, move speed, and damage reduction which is just fantastic and then of course you get the uh the, the uh divine barrage which is super strong so it, it's kind of totally up to you you are going to sacrifice a little bit of damage here because you don't have the additions to glass cannon but even going through these like like if you put this on if you put Tyrael's might on it's is perfectly fine like the build still slaps so it it's really up to you what you want to do here um I'm going to show this with Raymonds just because there hasn't been too many builds with Raymonds this season and not a lot of people are using it. So I, w I definitely wanted to try it with this because you get the elemental attunement, which is really nice. Uh, and then the additional ranks of glass cannon. And I couldn't ignore the GA. In our glove pieces here, we got frozen tundra. Okay, while deep freeze is active, exploding ice spikes in the area dealing increased state cold damage. We don't care about that. We literally take the frozen tundra power just so our ice spikes have 50% increased explosion radius. This is not only good for mobbing and speed farming, but this is very good against bosses, right? Then in our pants piece, I went back and forth with this, but again, even though a couple seasons ago, Tabalt's Will was nerfed from 40% increased damage to 20 at its max, this is still the best pants piece. I have not been able to put another pants piece like this one together. I put this one on, with snow guards to reduce damage you take while in a blizzard because it's you're pretty much in it all the time but again the damage was locking so much that to will is just in its spot and that's just what it's going to be it's too hard to ignore not only that if you are having resource issues with this build because you don't have all the uniques or uber uniques or mythics then the the man the resource that you get back from becoming unstoppable is is you have to have it uh in our boots we're doing concussive strike I, to be honest, there's so many options here. You could do Concussive Strike. You can do uh, Exploiters is very, very strong against bosses. Um, you can do like Ghost Walkers if you want to speed farm and move faster. Like there's a lot of options here for the boots. Um, I, I just finished doing Exploiters and now I'm trying Concussive Strike um, for, the, for the days. And then against bosses, you'll always have the 20%, which is super good. So... Uh, it's it's totally up to you. This is like a free slot, pretty much. But 
uh, right now I'm, I'm testing concussive strike in our two-hander okay so one thing about ice spike damage is that it it scales from critical strike damage so the more critical strike damage you have the higher ice spike damage you will do so um, my chat was telling me like well why are you tempering ice spike damage well i want to do as much ice spike damage as possible because then that's multiplicative towards your critical strike damage so i have 681 percent however if i was to temper on critical strike damage here and then temper on critical strike damage here and in my gloves instead of the ice spike damage like that's nice we'd have more of this but then my ice spike damage wouldn't be as high so i think that just tempering on ice spike damage is probably the better way to go but i need to get another copy of these three gear pieces and then temper on critical strike and really test it um uh, but in the meantime, Glacial is the main power here. Okay, when you cast Blizzard, it periodically spawns Ice Spikes for 6,100 damage. Your Ice Spikes chill enemies 30% faster, which means that we can freeze them faster. So this scales crazy on a two-hander. Now, if you wanted to do a one-hand and offhand, that is perfectly fine. It would actually open up another power, which would be really cool. You could do, like, um, Glacial, and you could add on, like, uh, you could add on, like, um uh ancient flame and then what we could do is we could go into our key passive here and we could do esu's ferocity and just get the attack speed bonus which is kind of cool i guess but or you could put on accelerating uh you could do anything like that to increase your speed i just don't i just think that the, the damage fall off for a one-hander and a two-hander is is too much so that's why i'm using a two-hander uh in our amulet piece we have storm swell because storm swell is crazy right now um, but you want Conjuration and Devouring Blaze in here with attack speed. You want as much attack speed as possible. Um, and then we're, we're dealing the increased damage to vulnerable enemies while we have a barrier. Super strong. Now, here's the next part, which is a real struggle. It is a very, very real struggle for the gear pieces. So, Blue Rose, huge amount of ice spike damage. It explodes twice. Chance to form an exploding ice spike dealing uh, more cold damage. Triple this against frozen enemies, which is insane. So more ice spikes means we do more damage. So very hard to replace here. Okay, very hard to replace. Now, Ring of Starless Skies is a tricky one. The attack speed on the Ring of Starless Skies is very good. Spamming Blizzard, also very good. We get 50% multiplicative damage however, and resource cost reduction. However... The 50% multiplicative damage, I believe, is not to... Because it's to our skills, and it's not to ice spikes that get formed. So we're, I believe that we're not getting the 50% multiplicative here to our ice spikes. But we are getting the resource cost, which allows us to spam. So when we're in here and we have this, like, I can just spam, right? Like, I can just spam it, and it's fine. Now... However, it's still very, very hard to not use Talrashas because then we get the increased damage no matter what. So if we come in here and we have Talrashas again, but then we run into the issue of our mana just really going out and it still doesn't even seem to be better damage. So it's almost like, it's almost like Ring of Starless Skies is just better. Plus, we get the crit strike chance on there, which is very important. We don't get any cooldown, but that's okay. So, I've been kind of going back and forth. The other option was to do this and not run Blue Rose, but it's like, why not do that? We lose so much damage on Ice Spikes. Because then if we go in here and spam it, we really aren't doing any damage. Look at that damage. It's like nothing. Right? Like, it's... I mean, I guess it is good damage. It's just, it's so tough with the rings, man. It's its so tough. It's so tough with, with the rings, guys. I mean, I want to preface this in the video. I don't want this to go too long, but it's just, it's very, very hard to not run Blue Rose. Like, look at that. What is that, 20 million up there? 18 million, and then if we swap this in. I feel like we go down in damage, actually. We go down a little bit in damage, huh? Yeah, it's just... It's so tough.
Yeah, so guys, again, uh, I mean, any combination of these three items is is just it's really tough to to use. So guys, take the video with a grain of salt and use whichever combination of these three rings that you want to use. I mean, it's it's really really tough. Um, the other thing with using raiment or uh, like using raiments or using this chest piece is that we really struggle on our armor. If we put this in, we're very close to being capped. Um, if we put this in same thing we're, we're far off from being capped so we do lose a lot of armor here um however you could change that you could go in here instead of mana per second you could put armor on your boots which would really help that would get us pretty close um so you could do that and then of course yeah you could just try to be close and then when you upgrade the everything you should be you should be able to hit cap so i don't want people to get discouraged about the build if um you're not at your max armor so yeah it's it's really really tough now what i'm going to do is the paragon board is pretty self-explanatory um it's very similar to what we did last season but there's a few changes so we're rocking destruction for crit damage we max that out elementalist stalagmite for even more ice spike damage but more importantly the 20 percent crit chance which isn't affected on the board you don't see that on your stat line flame feeder for more damage exploit for more damage tactician for more damage Unleashed for mana regen and more damage. And then we got winter for even more damage. Okay. So um, the build is pretty straightforward, guys. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go down and de de defeat the beast in the ice. We're going to show him who the real ice queen is. And uh, this should be pretty, pretty fun. It sucks that every time I go in there, you change the instance and the portal goes away. But yeah, so the gear pieces are really tough, man. I wanted to spend a little bit more time on that section because it can be... Oh, it's so tough with the rings, man. Um, still so much testing. I kind of feel like you drop Blue Rose and... You drop Blue Rose and you just rock Starless and Talrashas. Talrashas is so hard. Um, it's so hard to, re to replace, man. I mean, it's so tough. But even with all the uber unique bosses that we've killed, like the Tormented, like it's... Any combination just works. Like it just feels like it any combination of those rings i just i kill the boss the same so it's kind of whatever you want to do um and then we got course current current switch okay buddy so let's go in let's destroy this guy all right boom now what we want to do is before they spawn we want to get these things going to spawn right and then he's just dead we just kill him that quick he's just that dead um, I hate that Beast in the Ice is still bugged with the, uh, the dolls. You only get one still, but it kind of is what it is. Ooh, a GA staff. But yeah, man, Blizzard is, is very, very good. It's going to be able to do all content, guys. Again, this is probably the biggest, the biggest issue. Now, for people who don't have the, uh, Mythic Uniques, put Starlight here, okay? Put Starlight here. Don't worry about Stormswell. Run on Darius. Um for mana otherwise like another 295 that's awesome um ga staff of liam neeson uh but yeah guys so blizzard very very strong it's not as good as like any of the lightning like chain lightning it's not as good as lightning spear it's not as good as fireball um but it is very fun so if you want to play some ice stuff uh, this and Frozen Orb, like a traditional Frozen Orb, are about the same. It kind of sucks that Frozen Orb pretty much fell off the map after uh, last season. So, yeah, kind of a bummer there. Um, but with that said, man, Blizzard, very, very fun. It's very, very good, guys. Go out and um, destroy the entire game with this build. Um, again, like the video. Let's get this over 100 likes. That'd be awesome. Um, down in the comments, guys, let me know what you think about this and let me know um any suggestions to really kind of polish out the gear here because man i keep swapping back and forth all the time on the gear while playing this so but i think i'm done with blizzard for now and we'll switch off to another build so let me know what we could do let me know what the next build you want me to showcase to you guys is and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace